Am I the a-hole for turning in a school project that shows that I live in a crap hole neighborhood where everyone sucks? Okay, OP. This is OKOP. I'm Samuel Donner. And I'm John Fry. And we tell the funniest stories on the internet. And John, if you were to like take a walk around your neighborhood and having to give like a tour, um, and like this is your direct neighborhood, what would you see and what would you find? Oh man, we, we have some interesting houses. Um, we have one that has a mosaic museum inside of it. Really? Not even joking. That's sick. Yeah. It's like legally a museum but also a house or something right 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 around the is it like around the corner from your place or what? yeah yeah it's walking distance in my little back neighborhood area oh, wow. um we have a house with like we thought for sure that it was like 100 percent abandoned there's like a, a car with like 10 years of dust on it so we thought it was like 100 percent abandoned but then out of nowhere they put up yeah. like really crappy like christmas lights on this like giant overgrown tree in front of their house so we're like like, I guess someone lives there and they're in the Christmas spirit. Yes, they are. And then uh, there's there's someone who literally has like the plants straight out. If you just copy and paste it like a, an island jungle that like is their like surrounding area of their house. Really? Like plants galore? I mean, just like like Jurassic Park kind of plants. Cactus, palm tree, uh, just like weird like trees and plants that you wow. I don't even know what they are and just like filled around Dude, your neighborhood sounds super super interesting this story is a story about a neighborhood that is maybe not as inviting as yours not as, not as interesting okay am i the a-hole for turning in a school project that shows that i live in a crap hole neighborhood where everyone sucks hmm. <laughs> i'm a high school student in a spanish class and we had an assignment to make a video tour of our place it had to be in Spanish and it had to be conversational. Like you were showing it around to a friend. Like, hey, look at this plant. Look at this mosaic house. This is pretty cool. Donde esta el planto? Yes. You know, John is very... Uh, I Spanish speak. He's Spanish speech. Yo hablo espanol. Or tu hablas espanol. Oh, Ooh, how correct. Sheesh. Okay. I decided to just walk around my street and make a tour of that because my family wasn't going anywhere else. So this is what I filmed. A neighbor's house. When I walked by, they were having a screaming fight like usual. And I said, here are their neighbors. They are very angry. They like to yell in the morning, afternoon, and night. Buenos tardes. The next neighbor's house. Joe and Tammy live here. They are very nice and have three dogs. At that moment, someone drives by and Kat calls me profanely. Hey, how you doing, toots? Something like that, but probably worse. <laughs> As I joke, I yell back, estupido perro, <laughs> which means stupid dog. Then he slammed his brakes and yelled something racist about me being Mexican before speeding off. I said to the camera, this man is very stupid. He is a man, but acts like a dog. Also, I'm white, but I think this idiot assumed I was Hispanic because I was speaking Spanish. Oh. I also introduced 10 other mundane things like flowers, a bird, etc. I cut out the long sequences of me walking, but I left in everything else. My teacher had a rubric of the types of descriptions and numbers of things you needed, and taking any out would lose me points. It was too dark out to film anymore, so I stopped. The second part of the assignment was to upload the video on the school website and post comments back and forth responding to several of your classmates' videos. One of my friends from class recognized the racist guy as someone who volunteers with the middle school soccer team. So the guy that was catcalling is teaching kids how to play soccer. What? So she texted me like, haha, should I say something? And I said, sure. So she posted in Spanish, in the car is Mr. Jones, who coaches the children. I learned from your video that he hates women and is racist. <laughs> I replied to say, does he teach the girls or the boys? And she replied back, both. I replied back, that is terrible. <laughs> I love how all these sentences are super simple, yeah. but they're so savage. A guy in my class made a comment like, the man yelling at his family is a police officer. He is always a very angry man. I replied back to say, that is scary. The next day at school, my teacher wanted to talk to me alone. She told me my video was inappropriate and I shouldn't have filmed the neighbors or the coach. I said that this assignment was literally to walk around a place you're familiar with and react like you're having a conversation with a friend. And that is literally how it goes when I walk around my house with my friends. 
My teacher said I was being belligerent on purpose and I should have known that this stuff has to be dealt with delicately. I said, I just don't agree. It's just life. And there's no point in pretending that it's not happening. Facts, OP. I, I like how OP is literally dropping these like philosophical gems just yeah. nonchalantly. She said she'd taken down the video and it was the sort of thing that should be brought to the authorities instead of posted for the whole class. I said, I didn't even know the guy in the car. And who was I going to call about the cop? The cops? <laughs> who police is the police? I have a meeting with the principal coming up tomorrow. Am I the a-hole for posting a video for Spanish class? First off, man, can we have a little humor? Yeah. I, I can, love- can, we, can we have a little comedy, man? Like. I, th- I honestly watching that video, I would have cracked up. I thought I, I would have thought it was hilarious. Yeah. And she did do the assignment that she did. She understood the assignment. <laughs> yes, she did. But there's an update, John. Oh, I had a meeting this morning and I think it went well. I have a study hall now, so I have a little more time to write an update. So last night I did a bunch of prep before the meeting. I emailed the video to the elementary school principal, guidance counselor, and a few parents I know with kids on the sports team to say their coach had yelled sexually explicit and hateful things at me, a student in the school system. I wanted to get out ahead and make sure the video was out there before the school might pressure me to delete it. Then I backed up the video to multiple places. Then I asked a teacher I trust to sit in on this meeting and have it be recorded and sent to all participants afterwards. We scheduled it for just before the school day started on Zoom so I wouldn't miss any class. And then finally, I decided to write up a list of things I'd want discussed in the meeting and shared it with my favorite teacher in advance so she could help me address the questions. Bro, shout out to OP. OP came really prepared. Gosh darn. And for the actual meeting, I decided I'd just go into it acting as if they would obviously do the right thing and ask for help. I was hoping having a teacher on my side in the meeting on video would pressure them to help. I thought if I approach it from an, well, obviously you're going to take this seriously perspective and had it on video, it would put them in a tough spot to have to contradict me. So when I called in, everyone said good morning and the principal asked if I knew why I had been called in this morning. I just started out by saying, yes, I assume it's about the kid's coach. Thank you so much for calling me to this meeting this morning. I really appreciate how proactive you are about addressing the sexual harassment from a staff member. I understand this is a mandated reporting state, and I wanted to ask if there's any information you will need to add to your report. That is how it's done. And the principal seemed kind of caught out and said a report had not yet been filed. I said, well, as I understand it, there is a 48-hour time frame to file a report. I understand making you aware of this right before the weekend might have complicated things. Perhaps there was a miscommunication about the severity of the events, but I was approached in a car, sexually harassed and threatened by a man who works with other minors in the public school system. As soon as I said all that, the meeting tone really changed. The meeting also had a school guidance counselor on it, and I could tell she understood how serious what I was saying was, especially because I was politely calling out that they were already past the legal deadline and that they should have filed the report already. She actually took over and the principal didn't participate that much. I also tried to smooth things over somewhat by saying I was sorry I brought this to their attention in a school project instead of asking for a meeting with the principal directly. I should have reached out for help. So that's over. I'm still kind of freaking out how big of a deal it turned out to be. Also, I want to say thanks to everyone who had suggestions about how to approach this, like having an adult to back me up, getting the meeting on record and knowing about the mandatory reporting. OP is literally a hero. Like OP is a freaking lawyer, bro. A lawyer, like just doling out justice. Incredible. Wow. 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 But you know what else is incredible? Ooh, subscribe to OKOP. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Spotify and TikTok. And if you really want to be a real one, support us on Patreon. Join Muhammad, Amanda, Will Combs, Connor Van Buren, Desiree Canterbury, Keegan Simmons, and Kathy Quigley. See you soon.